Hey y'all, I just wanted to show you some of the baby things that we've gotten so far. Um, we did not get all of these purchases in one trip. These are items that we have been collecting over time or that have been given to us. Um, so this is part of the budget nursery for the baby's room that will be here at my house. Um, of course, my daughter will be having a baby shower and she'll be getting new items for her nursery and I'll give you a tour of that once it's done. But for now, I just want to get started and show you. We've been so excited about this baby that's coming and uh, definitely on a tight budget and I wanted to share what we were getting and what we were finding uh, in case it helps somebody out there um, get motivated for their nursery. So let's get started. What I did, um, I actually wanted to see, and this is my bookshelf in my office, and I was thinking of removing the books and putting this white bookshelf in the nursery. So you'll see I just cleared these two shelves because I just wanted to see how the items looked on the shelf and uh, see if the books are down there. But let me just get started and show you um, what we got. We got this vintage bunny. He sits on a shelf. He's wooden. Got this at an indoor flea market. This lamb was at a thrift store. This lamb, also a thrift store. And this lamb is actually a scented neck wrap that was given to me by my future mother-in-law. And what's so cute about the lambs, and I also found this metal sheep for $5 at an indoor flea market. So what is so cute about the lambs and the sheep is that my future father-in-law always says, oh, poor little lamb. So I thought that, was, that would be a cute addition to the, the baby's nursery. These items, these two figurines, um, were given to my daughter. They were left over from a garage sale. I'm not sure if we're going to use them, but I just thought they were really cute. This frame, it says love at first sight, is meant for a sonogram picture. Um, and I will get one from my daughter, but I actually bought her a frame similar to that brand new and it was like 12 or $13. I paid a dollar a dollar fifty for that. So I believe this was two dollars. This was maybe a dollar or less. This was a gift. This was 50 cents. This was five dollars. These were free. That was a dollar fifty. This gray teddy bear back there was a gift to one of my kids for something. I'm not sure. So that was free. Um, this is a dollar and it is a very plush bear. He has wings and he winds up and he sings Jesus Loves Me. Well, he the music of Jesus Loves Me. Again, that was a dollar. Great find. This was, I believe, 25 cents. It's a rattle cuddle blanket. It's a giraffe. One of the other creatures that me and my daughter love and we want to make sure that the baby has a collection of is giraffes. So this one was a gift for me years ago. My daughter got me this one as a gift as well. And then this guy right here and this guy were both bought at flea markets um, for maybe $1 and $2. I don't know if it was a thrift store or a flea market. So let me give you an overview of some of the stuffed animals and possible decor that we will be using. All this was either a gift that was free or it was $2 or, or less, except for the metal sheep, which was $5. Okay. So that pretty much will complete the stuffed animals that I will have the nursery here. Unless people give us gifts, um, I'm going to stick to, to lambs, um, not really a big fan of bears, but I did like this one because it was very plush. It played music, and we are actually trying to stay with a neutral color theme, not a just specific theme of any kind. Initially, you'll see, we were going to go with a bee-themed nursery with black, yellow, gray, and white, um, but I did not want to limit us to that because this will likely be the first of other grandbabies and uh, I just wanted to keep it kind of neutral. So let me show you, this is uh, what I'm working on right now. In this basket are puppets. So I've got Cookie Monster puppet and a puppy puppet <laughs> and a horse puppet and of course these are meant for imaginative play 
Um, in the back, sorry about that, I've got a collection of finger puppets. There's five or six of them. It's just the little Garanimals from Walmart, finger puppets. And those would be good for story time. All of this will be washed, of course, before the baby gets here. Okay, and then um, here's another small basket that I found. Oh, actually, this oval basket got from Home Goods for $9.99. This basket from Home Goods was $7.99. This basket, I believe I already took the price tag off, but I want to say it was probably about $9.99 as well. So in this small basket here are two teething bunnies. We also like bunny rabbits. <laughs> um, you wet these, put them in the freezer, and the babies can chew on them to teeth. My daughter received these as little gifts at a baby shower a long time ago, and we've just held on to them. We've had the the forethought to hang on to things like this. And this basket, of course, you know, the puppet basket is not complete. That collection is not complete. I want to get a few more. This basket is for musical toys. I definitely want our baby to appreciate music. So in this basket, I will keep rattlers and noisemakers, bells, things like that for the baby. Because I think that's very important. Again, these will be washed and sanitized before the baby gets here. Um, and to finish off like the toys and stuff, this is a basket of wooden books. There are probably about 30 books in here. They're in good condition. They will all be wiped off. Um, we bought all of these books at thrift stores. Probably, I think we got, I want to say, 10 for a dollar or something like that. I'm not even sure. Or five for a dollar. So, I mean, it was less than $10 for all of these books. Probably about 30 books, wooden books there. And then my daughter gave me this for, as a gift for Mother's Day. <laughs> A collection of little wooden books because she knew I wanted to have that at the nursery here at my house. Back here, let me move this. Back here you'll see these two prints and they're still wrapped in plastic of two little lambs. One with a dragonfly, one with a ladybug. And I actually kept the packaging. Got this from a thrift store. It is Babies Are Us. And I got it for $2. So I got these artwork, this artwork for $2, these two pictures. And because it had the, the neutral colors, I really liked it. And of course, we can have some little accent colors. This little wooden frame box my daughter got for me and painted. She bought this for me many years ago. Um, and then inside, she also got all of these wooden decals nature theme because we definitely want to stay nature themed um nothing specific but you know things found in nature neutrally themed so we might have to repaint some of that <clears throat> excuse me um another possible thing i was thinking of doing for the nursery is that i kept this wrapping paper from a birthday present and there's a good bit here so i think what i'm going to do is line the dresser uh, drawers with this or possibly cut it out and frame it and maybe do something else with that. So that was a possibility. Um, back when my daughter and I were looking for baby stuff just for future use, we came across this vintage and you can see it's like a 3D wooden little soldier boy print. And of course that's pretty specific for a boy, but we really enjoyed the, the look of this. So that's it's a possibility. Nothing is for sure at this point. Another find, and this was also from many years ago. These are two bunnies, uh, two bunny statues, and you put them together and they kiss. Considering using that, I'm not sure if it's neutrally colored enough, so may not use that. Um, another item that was free from, leftover from garage sale is this. Not really sure if I like it, but you know, it's a possibility. Another find, I think this was 99 cents. It's a wooden frame shadow box and there's just this, you know, not too pretty floral print in there. What I'm going to do is print a picture of um, the uh, birth announcement that my daughter did online. I'm going to print that and frame it in here. And then we do also have, let me show you this, 
This is the laundry basket that matches the two baskets on the shelf. It's gray and white with bees on it. So again, um, we are decorating this particular nursery because it's for my grandbaby. We're on a budget, we're thrifting it, and what I've shown you today are books, toys, stuffed animals, and possible nursery decor. A few other things we'll throw in, and once the room is put together, I'll show you. And uh, if I have time today, you may get to see the clothes and blankets and things like that that we've already purchased. We are trying to get a little bit as we go so that it's not one big expense at the end. And the ultimate goal is to have a complete nursery set up here for this grandbaby or any future grandbabies or babies for us. Um, something neutral, nature themed, um, stocked, on a budget, because um, that's fun to find those treasures. Um, but anyway, to, to stick with the budget and um, hopefully you guys like it. Let me know in the comments uh, if anybody sees this, if you think I should move this white shelf into the nursery. Of course, not sure how we're going to decorate with the furniture and things, but if you like the way these items look on the shelf or if you have some thrifty um, nursery or baby items that you would like to share, please um, do so. I, I really appreciate seeing it. Okay, well, hopefully I'll see you guys again soon with some more budget nursery items. Have a good one.